Okay, it's 7 o'clock. We have a quorum. We'll call a planning board meeting to order. Moving right along. 15 East Street, continuation for Verizon. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Right. Um, so, there was, when we last were here, there was one remaining question issue that you had relative to the Public uh, Safety Center, and that was uh, the question of responsibility, liability um, for the tower. And I believe you got copies of the lease, and I have a letter with sections of the lease, the uh, relevant sections, which basically, um, summarize this, the uh, sections on insurance and maintenance and casualty, which do provide that Verizon Wireless is responsible during the term of the, of the lease for maintenance and repair for insurance uh, for rebuilding if there's a casualty or they can um, terminate the lease if, if they can't rebuild. Um, and then they have to, re at the request of the town, they would remove the the equipment. Um, so there really is no responsibility on the part of the town, which was your concern. So I'll submit that for your record. Which is the um, letter and the provisions. And David Nixon did send us a copy of the lease as well. Mm -hmm. so. And okay. you know, what is the section 11 and section 13 covers our concerns? Yeah, I, I just copied your the sections that were, and there's indemnification provision. So, you know, when this lease was negotiated, that was all addressed, and, and the town was you know, protected under those provisions. So, um, I think that addressed all the issues that you had, and we would ask that um, a favorable uh, decision. Uh, there hasn't been any opposition from the public, um, and um, we think this is a a uh, positive move for the town in terms of public safety, and we heard from the police chief that uh, we're going to be working with them, cooperating with them, and moving the equipment and enhancing, helping them enhance their equipment. When would construction start on this? When would be anticipated? I, I believe relatively soon. Do you have any idea, Carlo, on construction? Mm -hmm. They know it's a site that they want on air, so it's just a matter of getting the building permit in place. Yeah, this has been on a, on their urgent list for a long time, so I would presume that as soon as I get a, as soon as we get approval, I'd get a building permit, and it would be in the construction schedule. So. So let's see. What was? Oh, okay. So your actual application package was that was all part of the big world filing. Okay, well, I'm just trying to. Uh, we have a copy of what oh, we copy submitted. Oh, copy mean? You want uh, what we submitted? Or no, what? no. I got the, they're in the other room. Okay. The. Oh, that's last week. That was last yeah. week. Uh, <coughs> did you just give me the last revision date from the submittal of the drawings? Of the, of the drawings. Um, was, was there anything changed since you there wasn't, that? there wasn't anything changed from when we originally submitted our yeah, okay. so application. What, what, what was the date of the submission? <coughs> November 5th. Okay. So, Carlo has the plans. Submitted. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> You've got them. November 4th, 2013, provision number 3. 11-3, Rev-3. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll make a motion to approve the application for a site plan approval special permit and for a cellular uh, communication special permit. 
based upon the following findings and conditions. Project satisfies the general purposes of the site plan approval by law. Project is in harmony with the general purposes of the cellular communication, wireless communication, I guess. Um, project is not detrimental to the established future character of the neighborhood. The intended uses are not prohibited by the terms of the bylaw or permitted thereby being located on municipal property. Um, work conducted in accordance with the following plans will be in compliance with this section of site plan approval and wireless. The submittal package filed uh, November 5, 2013, including plans as revised 11.4.13, revision 3. Planning Board has reviewed and granted the following waivers. Scale of drawing, removal bond, as this will be town owned, um, wave within two miles of another tower, wave setback of, uh, from structure, and wave height from 55 feet to 80 feet. Uh, copies have been distributed. Proposal satisfied site plan review criteria. The design features are considered to be an integral part of the approved design. Uh, and any deviation from the plans as presented will be a violation of the terms of site plan approval. Um, approval is for the following, actually it doesn't matter. Uh, no signage. Uh, there really is no landscaping here either. Uh, no outdoor lighting fixtures, um, no storage trailers. Uh, performance security is covered by the lease, so we don't need to do that. Approval is subject to approval of other boards if and as required. Any project changes directed by other boards must be approved by the planning board. Uh, project reviewed for compliance by an independent consultant. And um, Approval will not become effective until the uh, notice of decision is incorporated with the site plan and the original is signed off by the planning board chair or clerk. And then uh, that also covers everything in the cellular special permit as well. Nothing extra required on that. So that is the motion. Because they've got two of these, we want to make clear when the where the application for F15 okay. Street. Good point. Um, at 15 East Street Public Safety Complex. Okay. Very good. That's the motion. I second it. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. Motion passes unanimously. <coughs> Thank you. Great.